guys, it's Lauren. Today is a day that I am very excited for because I am getting my eyebrows microbladed. So I have nothing on my eyebrows right now so you guys can kind of see what they look like naturally before the big transformation. So you can either be one of two people, I'm assuming. I'm assuming some of you are thinking, why are you getting your eyebrows microbladed? You don't need it, your eyebrows are fine. And then some of you are thinking, bitch yes, get microbladed. Like I don't see why not. Let me explain. <laughs> And I just want to say that I'm videotaping this experience because I want to. She's not like giving me free eyebrow microblading for a YouTube video. It's not one of those like exchange things. So I'm gonna be very honest about microblading. If you're wondering what the microblading process looks like from start to finish, I'm gonna be showing you guys absolutely everything so that if this is something you're considering or if it's something you're just interested in because it's pretty interesting I don't know if you've seen the videos on Instagram of like the eyebrows before and after but it's literally incredible so what microblading is is Honestly, I'll wait till I'm with the lady. Maybe she can explain it better, but it's a bunch of tiny little micro needles and they basically fill in your eyebrow with ink and then like tattoo it. I don't know, but it looks really natural. Like I'll show you some pictures of before and afters. Like it's literally nuts what they could do to your eyebrows. So the reason I'm getting them done isn't necessarily because I don't like my eyebrows. I didn't fill them in today so you guys could see what they look like naturally. For me, it's more for when I do my own makeup. Like the thing about microblading is that they will literally measure your face, make sure your eyebrows are perfectly symmetrical, make sure that they're like the exact distance from each other you know like make sure that what they fill in and the way they stencil it is like mathematically like good for your face and the reason I like that is because whenever I do my own makeup and I fill in my eyebrows I literally have one here one here and then the next day I'll have one here one here I'm not good at consistency when it comes to filling in my own eyebrows I just I think I'm better with my right hand than I am with my left hand and I just can never make my eyebrows match and it's just honestly a fucking mess so today is the day that I get my eyebrows tattooed on me. I think it's gonna hurt. I'm not too scared about the pain because pain is beauty. <laughs> so I'm gonna go there right now. I'm gonna meet the lady. I've seen her before and afters on Instagram. They look pretty good and I'm excited. Okay, so I just got here. This is Vanessa. Hi. <laughs> we were just kicking and having girl talk. Oh my god, she didn't even let me know. <laughs> But right now what we are doing is we're waxing them, cleaning them up so that we can then go in and decide on the shape. And I'm assuming that's when we're going to measure everything out and stuff. But yeah, so a little wax. I look a little crazy right now. What is on my eyebrows right now is numbing. And I heard her say 15 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes of numbing. Okay. And I'm showing her kind of like what I saw on her page. So this is the video that I saved. This is the before. And bitch, that's the after. So, I don't know, we're gonna decide my exact shape now, but like, yes! <laughs> I'm really excited. So we're gonna do hair strokes within here, just to give you a little more definition. And just up here, just so then that way you always kind of have like a set brow shape. So this is more kind of like what I would say to somebody like this is considered kind of like a, a little baby fill-in. It's not really because you need a microblade, it's just to give you a shape. So then that way, whenever you put your makeup, you already know exactly where to go. Like do these little fill-ins here. So it's just to kind of give you a little fullness in your little sparse areas. Give you a little fill-in there, and a little bit here, and not too much on the ends. Cool, is there a way we can make them like straighter? You know how like the models have like straight eyebrows? That would require me taking out your ends, and you don't want to do that. Okay, never mind. For you to have a straight brow, and honestly, I wouldn't recommend that for your face shape. Okay. Like straight brows would be like taking all this off it'd be all this off and make that straight and then this would have to come out more got it right here it would make you look like you're serious all the time like you're upset okay yeah <laughs> maybe not but this always happens every time i get girls with a good arch they want straight and then the girls that are straight they want arch guess we always want what we don't have I mean, what do you think? Don't you think that it'll be better just to kind of keep an arch? Yeah. I feel like that's also just another trend that'll die too, like the straight eyebrow thing. Anytime you do something permanent or semi-permanent, you always want to keep that classic. Mm -hmm. 
It's kind of like when you buy a designer bag. You don't want to buy a trendy bag. You want a classic bag so it can go throughout the years. You only have one face, keep it classic. I agree. Okay, so we were just talking about my eyebrows and they're asymmetrical. I don't ever feel like, oh my gosh, she's really calling me out on my brows. Everybody has a different face shape. Like for me, for example, I have one side of my face that's completely shorter than the other. And that's why I like it because it's my skinnier side as compared to like, let's say here for you. This is the brow. Like this whole side right here is a little bit like more lifted. So this one's a little bit straighter up on the top. And this one actually has more of an angle to it. What we're gonna try to do is try to match it a little bit it's not going to happen all the way just because i don't want the microblade to be sticking up here too much so i'm going to try to bring this one down a little bit and then bring it down a little bit here in the front to try to give it a little bit of an arch so guys this is what i was talking about like this is why i love microblading videos i feel like a math problem <laughs> What does this actually even do? It just lets me make sure that everything's even. It lets me know what's uneven and that way I can correct that. So then that way you have good brows at the end. I'm trying to make them as symmetrical as possible. Is that just the needle with no ink? Yeah. Just to feel it? Right now, this is what I'm doing. Just so the numbing can absorb a little bit more. She's already started doing it. I just want to make a note that I feel no pain, which I'm very relieved about. Um, the weird thing is like the noise it makes, like the <laughs> that's a little weird, but there is no pain. Now that we're done, I'm just applying the ink onto her eyebrows and I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit. <laughs> this is my favorite part of all the microblading videos where they wipe off the ink and it just looks so clean. All right, I'm ready, everybody. She's ready. <gasps> yeah. Oh my God, this is nuts. So it's gonna get darker, like today, tonight, tomorrow, the day after. No need to worry. It will soften within the week, and even the week after, it will still get lighter. What about the scabbing? The scabbing, I'm gonna give you an aftercare treatment to take with you. It's gonna scab, but you want it to be a soft scab. You don't want it to get into a dry scab because if that happens and you don't hydrate the brow enough, what's gonna happen is that a chunk is gonna come off and it can possibly pull off the ink. It already looks filled in. And then I'm gonna give you your aftercare. I also found out that I cannot work out or sweat for seven to 10 days. No. If you could do seven, that's fine. But if you could stretch out for 10, even better. So it sounds really scary. A needle like really just like scraping and scraping and scraping and scraping at your skin. And then they put the ink at the end so that it sits into the scrapes and into the cuts that they make. So that way it looks like a real hair, you know, like a real hair the way it would grow. But the way she numbed it, I didn't feel like pain like you would think. I would. Like just the idea now that I get to wake up in the morning and already have my eyebrows done, not have to worry about where to fill them in, where to do anything, that just sounds amazing. Okay, so I just want to do a first impressions on Mario. Honest feedback? Wait, that rocks. Is it? Is it always going to be this dark? They get a little bit lighter. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking. They, they, a little bit lighter. That's the truth. Wow. Wow. Did it hurt? No. I like it. I think it looks good. Oh hey. god, I missed you. Oh. It's been one night and today I did my makeup obviously and let me just say that it saves so much time not having to worry about filling in your eyebrows and already knowing kind of where 
to put the rest of your face. Getting microblading done ranges from $250 to $1,000 and it lasts about a year and a half. So it is definitely a decision. It is definitely not the cheapest procedure to get done. So it's a choice if it's worth it to you. Having it on for one day, I will say that I'm very glad that I did it and I'm glad that I got to like wake up this morning and see eyebrows on my face. Like that was really cool. And before I let you guys go, I want to let you know that you should check out the new AT&T Hello Lab project I worked on called Starter Pack. So you can watch it down below. It is on Facebook Watch and the first episode is already out. And I'm excited for you to meet my character Lily. I play this really dope 16 year old PR prodigy that honestly you just have to like watch the series. It's really really funny and I watched it at the premiere the other night and I didn't know what to expect because when you're filming it, when you're there, when you're on set, you really only see the lines and you really only see come to life the scenes that you're in but at the premiere we watched it. And the editing, the music, everything about it was just so dope and so cool and my friends that came with me were like, oh my god, that was sick and I'm really excited for you guys to check this out so that will be down below. Let me know what videos you want to see more from me, guys. I like kind of like taking you to do things with me so like the microblading thing, like come with me to get microbladed, like I like that. So, what do you want me to take you and do? Bye guys, I love you. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a thumbs up and comment down below. I'm answering literally every single one of your comments so that's hot.